cell division in human beings. We know that cell is the structural and functional unit of life in any organism. In all organisms, cell divides and form new cells. The process of cell division is same in all organisms including unicellular and highly evolved multicellular like human being. Cell division is a process that transforms a human fertilized egg into a baby in 9 months and into an adult in next 20 years. In multicellular organisms, the cell division and function is highly regulated. It occurs only when there is a need for it. Cells in some organs like heart, brain of an individual never divide. On the other hand, the cells of bone marrow divides actively to produce red blood cells which have a short lifespan in the body. Example, if you cut your finger and bleed, soon a blood clot forms to stop the bleeding. This brings in various chemicals to the site that stimulate skin cells to divide and heal the wound. Cell division stops as the wound is completely healed. In contrast to this, cancer cells do not respond to such growth regulating factors and continual dividing at the expense of normal cells thus killing the host. Hence, it is important to understand the processes involved in cell division. The cell cycle will help us to understand the cell division much better. Now, let us learn about cell cycle. The process of cell division is called mitosis, which gets completed in 40 to 60 minutes. Interphase The period between two cell division is termed as interphase. It is the period when the genetic material makes its copy so that it is equally distributed to the daughter cells during mitosis. Interphase is divided into three phases. They are Z1 phase. This is the linking period between completion of mitosis and starting of DNA replication. Gap 1 phase. During this period, the cell size increases. S phase. This is the period of DNA synthesis, synthesis phase leading to the duplication of chromosomes. G2 phase. This is the time between the end of DNA replication and the beginning of mitosis, gap 2 phase. The cell organelles divide and prepare chromosomes for the mitosis. M phase. This is mitotic cell division phase. To understand the functional relationship between these phases, Potu Rao and Johnson have conducted elegant experiments using the cell fusion technique that is combining two cells in experimental conditions. By these experiments, Potu Rao and Johnson revealed for the first time the structure of interphase G1, S, G2 which are not visible under the microscope. They provided an evidence that the progression of cells through the cell cycle is sequential and unidirectional and are controlled by a series of chemical signals that can diffuse freely between nucleus and cytoplasm. These experiments were considered to be a milestone in the cell cycle studies.